so before that, I had done the pilot on Hung and got fired. Why did you get fired? So not my fault, actually, on this one. So <laughs> <laughs> Are the other ones your fault? No, actually, none of them were, damn it. But um, I... What's his name? He he directed Sideways and he had just won the Oscar. Mm, I don't know. His Alec name. Alexander Payne. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you, Ryan. <laughs> See, he knows things. He doesn't know con, con concentric circles. Concentric circles, but and neither do you. <laughs> he knows that. Go ahead. Yeah, that is in your defense. That is more useful to us than concentric circles. It is. So why'd you get fired? So so to try to make that succinct. Um, this was one of those things, and it just shows the class of HBO actually is the moral of the end of the story. Well, uh, Sue Nagel, she's no longer there. Mm, I remember Sue Nagel, I pitched her a show. She didn't take it, but anyway, go ahead. Yeah, oh, well. Sue. Mm. Well, I, it was one of those auditions, you've probably had these, where they say, we've seen everyone in town, no one is right. Mm -hmm. And then you're like, okay, yeah, exactly. Mm -hmm. Boy, and there's no problem with the script, of course, when they've seen a thousand actresses who can't make it work. But I do tend to kind of come in the bottom of the ninth and solve problems for people. So I did that because they said, actresses just aren't getting the humor. Well, I read the scene and it's a sobbing divorce scene. And I'm like, well, <laughs> okay so it was set in the midwest thank god because i gave her a fargo accent and i didn't cry oh. so me the crier and so i because then it was funny so and i read with who's the other actor so it's alexander payne and thomas jane thomas jane these people that have interesting names so right. thomas jane reads with me and he's a quirky duck, right? So he's not like, he's kind of improvising, which is a weird thing to do to the person who's auditioning. Because I just need to know what the rhythm will be, and there wasn't. So I get it. Fly to Detroit, and we're rehearsing. And Thomas Jane is like, he says his line. And then I'm about to say my line, and he says his line again. And then, oh. And then I go to say my, and he says his line again. I'm like, wait, what? what's happening? So then he keeps repeating his line, kind of the Stella Adler thing maybe I'm thinking. And then he kind of starts rolling on the floor, doing yoga or something. And I'm like, uh, this is interesting, I've never, I'm, I'm, like a, I'm like an old whore actress. I'm like, what do you want? You know, all right, let's get your pants off. Let's get this thing going. Like, I'm going to hit my mark. I don't care what you do. Right. I'm going to kill this thing. I don't even know that my scene partners are there because I can't, you can't rely on that. You can get fired if you're not prepared within your own circle. Right. And so I don't really know what's happening. So I do what I did in the test. Afterwards, Alexander Payne says, oh my God, Thomas, you're so great to work with. I would so much rather film what you just did than what we have to film. Oh, and Kristen on the day, no accent, and you'll be crying. And he leaves and he just won the Oscar. And I'm like, he's wrong, but he just won an Oscar. So they had me, he said, no makeup on Kristen. They dyed my hair mousy. They put me in baggy, ugly clothes with food on them. And I'm sobbing for 12 hours. Snot's running down my face. I, I don't want to be married to you. Ma. And I'm trying to save this one line where she's like, back in high school, you were the star athlete. You were this, you were that. And now you're just hung. So there was one line, right, where I could maybe still keep my job. So then it got, and then the producers at, would kind of at the end of the day, they went, oh, good job, Kristen. That was very funny. And I'm like, wow, it's not. It hmm. wasn't. And you went home. And I went home. Oh, and I did not get along with the dude, Eddie, Eddie James or something. He was in the. Oceans movies. But he, she just didn't get along. He played my husband. First person in ever, ever. I've never gotten along. I get along with everybody. He hated me. And he basically told me that. Jesus. So, yeah. He looked me up online and saw that my dad had guns. 
and he attacked the shit out of me about gun control. And I'm like, hey, I'm a liberal. I got it. My dad, I loved him. He's dead. That was his generation. They were old West guns. He liked John Wayne. Okay, so anyway, back what to the scene. Tears. Right? I'm in tears. And I say to him, please, please, can you let this go? We're going to work together. We're playing husband and wife. We're going to be touching each other tomorrow. Bizarre. I go back to LA and it's picked up. And my manager goes, aren't you excited? And I'm like, uh, I'm confused. And then I was fired. They got Anne Heche. She did, they rewrote it. And she did a completely different character and scene. And it was so much better. But the night that I got fired, I went out to dinner with my husband. And this woman comes over to me. And she says, hi, I'm Sue Nagel, the president of HBO. And I'm like, oh, right, because I only met her in the test. So you're not really able to retain faces in that circumstance. And, and she said, it wasn't you. And I'm like, how a classy lady. I didn't wow. see her in the restaurant. That never happens. I didn't recognize her. She, she came up to you. That's class. And she said, the scene just didn't work. You didn't work with him. It's not you, and I can send it to you if you want to see it, so you know it's not you. Did you, you. watch it? I said, I'm, I don't want to watch it. 